declare this Jesus let your kingdom come here let your will be done here in us Jesus there is no one greater you alone are saved Establish your kingdom within us. Amen. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. 
That's an interesting song because there's a lot, I think there's a lot in that song that's like, I feel really good about singing when it's about God and it's all about Jesus and his kingdom. And then it's all of a sudden it's like, and it's in you. <laughs> it's like, it's like, God, God, come do, come do something amazing. You guys can keep playing because I want to, I want to go back into that song. But um, I, listen, it's so amazing. Like we have this wonderful kingdom and some of us have touched it and tasted it and and we love talking about the beauty and the wonder of Jesus. And then, and then when it gets to him actually making the whole weightiness of his kingdom being made known, mandated through us, it's like, oh, that's, nope. Mm-mm. Not interested. And, and we don't celebrate that when we say, and it's in us. It's like, yes, it's in me. Like, the whole beauty of God's eternal kingdom lives inside of you. I mean, seriously, like, if that's not exciting to you, I don't know what you'll ever be excited about. And it's not about you feeling it. It's just not about you feeling it, okay? And I say that in love. What I mean by that is that because you don't feel it, it doesn't mean you don't have it. 
because you don't feel it all the time doesn't mean you don't actually have the full measure of God's love dwelling inside of you. It doesn't mean your circumstances can dictate that. It means the truth of God is that the kingdom of heaven, the thing the world is waiting for, lives inside of you. So it's like, like what more, what more is there to be excited about? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We're like, Jesus, you, you died and you forgave me. And we're like, oh, that's awesome. And then it's like, well, now the kingdom that he died to establish lives in you. And we're like, oh, okay. okay. That's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. He loved to place his kingdom inside of you. He loved to do it. It was the joy set before him. Jesus looked and he saw all that would be his, and that's you here, and it was joy for him. And it's okay if you don't understand what that means. I don't know how to love it. Listen, that's why we need Jesus. We don't know how to love. In fact, we don't even know love if not for Jesus. So we admit, God, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Lord, I have no clue. I have no clue how to be hope for people if hope lives inside of me. And actually, that's the way to experience it. God, I have no idea, but I believe it's in you. <laughs> That's the kingdom. Are you guys with me? I'm excited, man. I'm excited. And so, so this morning, I just, I just feel like, like hope, hope is the truth of what we can expect in God. Another way to say what scripture says. So we're going to sing that song again. And, and uh, listen, this is like a delight. This is God's delight in you, and he loves to delight in you. He, Zephaniah 3.17 says he joys over you. He rejoices over you with singing. Well, God. <laughs> he sings over you. So some of you are like, I don't like to sing. That's okay. God loves to sing over you. It's all right. It's okay. So as we sing this song again, I just want to invite you just to, just to enjoy the truth of Jesus, that he, yes, died that we might be forgiven, but he also resurrected, that we might have his life now, here, today, right here in this place, in this time, in this city, for your family, for his kingdom and reign and dominion to be made known, which is a kingdom of love. Let's worship. If you need to dance, you could dance. If you want to come up, you can come up. If you can, Dave's, let's do the whole thing. Let's celebrate. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. They are good lyrics, so if you pay attention to what you're singing, amen. Uh, hopefully, every worship sounds like that, but amen. Uh, let's build this kingdom within us. Amen. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Okay. 
How many of us will admit we need to be set on fire? (laughs) We're not where we need to be or where we should be, amen? But he's building, amen? That's the key word, he's building in us. He's changing us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's lift him up. Give him our praise today. Amen.
sing, we lift you up. you high. somebody here, um, and I feel like it was a two-parter um, for people who maybe are new to the whole church scene or maybe new and just kind of experiencing like, oh, you know, what is church? What is God? Who is he? Um, and then for people who have been here for a really long time, um, I just felt like there's somebody here who feels like they've been on the outside looking in for a really long time. Um, people who, again, like are new to the church and people who have been here for a really long time. And um, the Lord was just saying to me, like, ah, they're part of my family now. Like, as soon as you choose me, you're part of my family. And you're here in your home. And that goes for the whole church body, not just this house. Um, And that you're welcome here. And that you're loved. And that we want you here. And we really love you a lot. So please stay takes a lot to be vulnerable with people but it's so worth it the connection that you'll find here with the Lord and with the community that he set around you it's so worth it thank you I want to as we continue to worship I just want to invite anyone maybe if that's you um, and even if it's not, just want to invite anyone up to to the front for prayer this morning. Um, the reality is, is like it's these times of prayer, they best happen in intimate circles. I just want to make that clear. Praying for each other is best done when we have, and, and it's, I say, like most effective for our lives. And we've got people that we know who will pray with us and for us in a smaller setting. But we do that here to inspire what God wants to do in other places. So we do that here. We practice it here. We pray for each other. And I just want to invite anyone up this morning. If you could just use some prayer, you desire some prayer, um, you just want to have space and kneel before the Lord. I feel like um, people just need space to be on their knees and even kind of repent, uh, I feel, is also important this morning. Uh, Conviction is a beautiful thing, letting Holy Spirit remind us of who we really are in God. And so we're going to worship some more. But just come on up this morning. Just come on up before the Lord and, um, and someone. This is a, the house thing. This is a family thing. So someone probably come around you, pray with you, pray for you. But, um, yeah, you're welcome. You're home. Amen. 
We're going to end with another building song. We're going to build our life. In order to build this kingdom, we have to have our life built on that foundation. Amen. In our small group Thursday night, we were talking about how the kingdom is a safe place. No matter what's going on around us, politically or at our work, we can be safe if we're in the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's build our lives upon him. Open up my eyes in wonder. 
more time I will build my life upon your love It is a firm foundation I will put my trust in you alone And I will be Father, we thank you for always speaking. And when you speak, you always say what's true. I just love, God, that I can count on you to tell me what's true. When everything else inside of me seems to be wavering, my mind seems to be wavering, I don't really know what to trust. I know I can trust you. This morning, God, we thank you for being here. We thank you for Holy Spirit counseling us this morning. You're the best counselor, Holy Spirit, I've ever met. And I have some, have had some amazing earthly counselors too. Really, truly, but Holy Spirit, you're the best counselor I've ever met. And so this morning we say, please continue to counsel us ask us the questions that need to be asked as a good counselor does and thank you for your peace here resting this morning for those God coming in with Jesus just again that constant hope this hope of God there's a new thing please God today's the day it's the new thing it's a new thing it's a new thing Jesus thank you for meeting them in that space thank you for meeting them in that space it's a new thing it's a new thing it's a new thing um, God, when we've hoped and when we've believed and when we've prayed and when we've wrestled and struggled for so long, God, it can... <laughs> God, some of us, we don't even know what to pray anymore. We don't even know what to say, God. And so we just groan. We groan, God. For all those groaning this morning, all those who have not known what to say, thank you, Jesus, that you sent one who would groan for us, the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus, for sending the advocate, for giving us him who would advocate our cause with groanings, with utterances, God, with things when we cannot say what we feel we have to say to you, God. Holy Spirit draws us close to you. And so we thank you. <laughs> oh God, we thank you this morning. What an awesome privilege to be your family. And uh, Lord, we just say continue to speak, continue to teach us today. 
and draw us into the truth, Jesus. The only thing that will set us free from what keeps us from you is the truth. And so we say, give us the truth.